Microsoft SharePoint 2010 – Getting Started In this video, we'll discuss how to access a SharePoint 2010 team site via a web browser, and then we'll explore the interface of a team site and how to navigate through the site. So let's get started. Once your organization's IT department has set up and configured your SharePoint 2010 team site, you'll be able to access that team site via a web browser. Your IT department will provide you with the URL or web address to see your team site. I'm going to click in to the address bar in my web browser and type in a URL to get to a specific team site. I have a sample team site that we'll be using for demonstration purposes. This team site is set up for the Espresso Yourself Coffee Company. This is a very basic, plain vanilla team site, but it is useful for going through and looking at the interface. So let's get started and look at the parts. Starting in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a Site Actions button. Depending on the permissions you've been granted for your team site, some of these actions may not be available to you. But by clicking on it, you would be able to see what actions you have available. To the right of that button, you'll see a Navigate Up button. This button is very handy to go up or to higher locations within your team site. The top location in your team site is your home page. Again, depending on permissions, you may be able to edit the page. You'll have a Browse tab up at the top and a Page tab as well. The Page tab, if I click on it, will come up with a ribbon that has certain commands on it. So I'll go back to the Browse. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see your user information. If I click on the down arrow, I'll see that I could view my profile or the settings for my user information. I could sign in as a different user or sign out. Below your user information, you have tags that you could click on if you like certain pages. On the left-hand side, you're going to see the site logo, and then you'll also see what's called a breadcrumb trail, and it will tell you where you're located. And as we go farther, we'll see other items in our breadcrumb trail. And the breadcrumb trail is useful for going back to specific locations or just to see where you're located. Underneath that, you'll have your navigation bar, which will tell you the sites that you have available to you. In our case, we have only the home site, but you could have subsites also on your team page, and they would be listed to the right of your home button. All the way to the right, you'll see that you have search capabilities to search for information within the site, and also you have a help button. On the left-hand side, you've got your quick launch bar, which is a way to get to different locations within your team page. Team pages are made up of libraries and lists. Those are the building blocks of your team page. There are some default libraries and lists you'll see located on the left-hand side, such as shared documents. Shared documents is a location where you can put any kind of files that you want to share with your team. There are lists, and the type of list that you have available are announcements, calendars, links, and tasks. As a default, you'll see Calendar and Tasks. You use the Calendar list to keep informed of upcoming meetings, deadlines, and other important events. And you use Tasks to keep track of work that you or your team needs to complete. Announcements are handy to post messages on your home page of your site. And links could be useful to link to certain web pages that your team members will find interesting or useful. You also have Discussion Boards and you can use the team discussion board to hold news group style discussions on topics relevant to your team. You'll also see a recycle bin at the bottom and anytime you delete an item from any of the libraries or lists it gets placed in this recycle bin and just like the recycle bin in Windows you can restore items as well. And then you have your all site content which is a place to go to to see all the parts of this team site. 
to the right of your quick launch bar, you've got your site introduction, which gives you the title and any description about your team site. And this one also has a web part for shared documents. The shared documents can be gotten to specifically from the quick launch bar on the left hand side, but you can also see the shared documents here on the home page. This also has a site image on the right hand side, which might be your company logo. Finally, let's talk a little bit about navigating. If I go into one of my lists, and I'll go into the calendar list, it will open up a calendar view. Notice the breadcrumb trail up at the top now has us going into the calendar. Also, at the very top, next to Browse, you'll see Calendar Tools. So if I click on Events, I can create new events on my calendar. I can delete events if I need to. And on the Calendar tab, I can see different views of my calendar. And I can go into different settings as well. If I go back to the Browse tab, I'll see my breadcrumb trail. And if I want to get back to my home page, one way is to click on the Espresso Yourself Coffee title. And this will bring me back to my home page. If I clicked on a library such as the Shared Documents Library, I'll be in that view. And again, I'll have tabs up at the top, one for documents for creating new documents or uploading, creating folders. And I have a library tab as well. And this is where I could go for different views or different settings. I can go back to the Browse tab, and again, I will see my breadcrumb trail to show me where I am. And I can use this to go back, if I wanted to, to the home page. I can also click on the home link on the navigation bar. And this will take me back to my team site's home page. And this has been an overview of a team site in SharePoint 2010.